So now let's say that you wanted to do multiple commands uh, that all do the same thing. So if we do walk forward, uh, walk left, walk right, um, but uh, there are a couple of ways you could actually accomplish that. First of all, you could go ahead and duplicate each of these commands and instead of walk forward, just tell it walk left, right, walk right, and duplicate each. Uh, that does get a little bit cumbersome. One of the other options you could do is instead of duplicating, you could actually go back through and make each one an option. So forward, backward, semicolon there, left and right. Okay, so you're gonna walk forward, uh, backward, left or right. Part of the problem here is now it doesn't know which option uh, you want to use it'll still just go there so I actually have to go through and add in uh, some some text replacement in order to tell it where we're going so you can add a new text value uh, this will be direction and we're going to have it equal to our current command so using the command token there All right, we want that to be up at the very top so we're going to set direction to command Right now we'll duplicate this and using the text replace, so right, um, this we've got a token name, right? So whichever variable we're going, uh, what the value is from, and what we're changing it to. So we'll just grab this. So we want to do text replace. And we're going from direct the variable direction. And now we're going to replace anything that says walk. And we're going to replace it with blank. Okay. We're going to do the same thing here for move. So we don't want the move or the walk commands. Now we can also trim spaces, right? And we want to do that on both, just, um, I'm not sure if one will break it or not, but we'll do it on both. Now we're going to also, because I, again, I want to see what this comes out as, we're going to write a value to the event log, and we're going to say value recognized as, and then text direction. So it'll give us uh, whatever direction there. So, and just quickly, we're going to disable these actions and give it a try. Walk forward, walk left, walk right, walk backwards, walk backward, move backward. Okay, so we saw it actually recognized that as each of those options. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to add some conditionals. So other, advanced, so we're going to begin a conditional statement. So the variable name direction, All right, and we're going to compare versus text. So uh, direction equals and forward we're going to do this thing so we're actually going to press the w key okay so that'll give us forward and we're going to enable this action so now we can actually copy this we could do uh, a different if statement for each or we could add else if text direction equals backward right and we're going to want to make sure that, that we have else if inside the end condition so right, make sure we copy the right amount we're going to copy this in but instead of w we're going to type s right we'll re-enable this while we're working here we're going to add another else if, 
but this time it's going to be for left. Okay, and we're going to use the key A to go left. And one final one, right. So those are the four directions we have available. And here, the D key. And it will confirm the request there. So as we see, we start, we pull in the command, uh, set it as a text value. Then we replace walk and move with blanks. And we trim out all the spaces, leaving us just with the direction we want to go. So forward, backward, left, or right. Hit OK, and we'll give this a try. Walk forward. Walk left. Walk right. Walk backwards. Walk backward. Okay, so the command actually worked as we did the uh, the direction there. Uh, we do actually want to, as you notice, I said walk backwards, and it didn't recognize that. So we're going to add that as an option, and just uh, because this is a special case, we're also going to replace uh, so that we can use the same uh, condition here. So walk direction equals backward. So backwards, in case I say that, I want it to just be backward without an S. And that should allow the, the option to work. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Walk backwards. Walk backward. So there we go. Either one of those options works.